There's that bit in every cyclist that just loves speed. I certainly do. And there's a few bikes over the years of history that have allowed us to go to dizzying heights with our speed. So I'm going to go through five of the top fastest bikes of all time. Yep, of all time. Right, let's start off in 1991, where the change of the UCI rules allowed the bike designers to go absolutely wild, including Mike Burrows, who designed that incredible monocoque bike with the chainstay and seat stay on the right hand side and only one fork blade. A test driver for the British car manufacturer Lotus found out about Burrows' design and took it to Lotus' attention. Lotus then looked at it and said, well, they could use their knowledge of car manufacturing and put it into bike design and help to refine and improve it for a young British talent and we all know as Chris Boardman. Chris Boardman then raced that bike in the pursuit in the Barcelona Olympics in 1992. And just like that, the Lotus 108 was born. But Boardman and his Lotus were not done there and he then went on to race the finals against the reigning world pursuit champion, Jens Liebmann. And Boardman was so fast on his bike, he actually nearly caught Jens Liebmann in the closing stages of the race and won the gold medal for Great Britain. The first gold medal in 72 years. The Lotus 108 was, I guess, victim of its own success and shortly after the event was banned by the UCI as it was deemed to give an unfair advantage. I guess we should probably head over to Boardman's biggest rival in the battle of the fastest bikes. And of course, I'm talking about Graham O'Brien's iconic bike, the Old Faithful. Unlike Chris Boardman's bike, which was built with, well, the cutting edge aerodynamic technology available to humankind, Graham O'Brien's bike was built by himself using kind of bits of his old washing machine, like the bearings. Aubry did have some radical ideas on aerodynamics, most obvious being that position he used on the bike. And when he first rode the bike dubbed the Old Faithful, he did so using this crazy position where he put his hands under his body and his shoulders leaning on the bars. And yes, it did look that crazy, but it was very, very fast. Thinking about it, Endura actually did a test not long ago with Aubry and his bike, dubbed the Old Faithful, of him in that tuck position in the wind tunnel. And they found out that his position was actually faster than nowadays TT bike setups. Now that's quite something. Aubry proved that him and Old Faithful were not just fast in the wind tunnel, but also fast on the bike. And he won the world hour record, not once, but twice. <laughs> That is cool. Winning a world hour record with a bike made out of washing machine bearings. Okay, so think back over the last big time trials, I'm talking individual and team time trials in the world tour. And then think of the thing that ties the winners of those events together. I'm talking about the bike they are riding. The BMC Time Machine is by far the most successful TT bike over the last couple of years. Since its launch in 2016, the BMC Time Machine has taken a staggering 28 wins. No other bike has even come close to this level of success. The BMC Time Machine is the result of a three year long collaboration with BMC and Sauber. Sauber being the motorsport engineering company that has built and raced Formula One cars since 1993. BMC and Sauber worked really hard to create the absolute fastest bike that would help all riders in all different positions. The only big question is, will the BMC time trial machine continue its great success under the likes of Dimension Data? Actually, thinking about it, Boston Hagen just won the Volta Valenciana TT, so well, I guess it will. This is a bike that you'll probably recognize if you see it, but you probably won't know its name. And that's because it's been through quite a few over the years, from Team GB's bike, the Secret Squirrel bike, but its actual name is the United Kingdom Sports Institute bike. 
These are those really strange looking low top tubes and skinny head tubes with big bulky handlebars and stem. The United Kingdom Sports Institute bikes, or the UKSI bikes, were first launched in Athens at the 2004 Olympics. And a version of those bikes have been ridden for the next eight years, on the road and the track, most notably though, on the time trials at the London Olympics. Now I did do some research on this, and the UKSI bike has won a staggering 18 Olympic gold medals from Athens to London in 2012. And seeing as the bike could have only won 34, that is one incredible hit rate. It has also been ridden to numerous world records, most notably though in the team pursuit. Now the reason this strange looking bike has made our list is because Denise Müller Koronek has ridden it to the land speed world record. Yet the fastest a bike has gone on land ever. It's quite literally staggering how fast this bike has gone. Denise rode her bike 183.934 miles per hour. That's close to 300 kilometers per hour. I mean, the speed that she rode that bike is quite literally mind blowing. I don't think I can get my head around that. Two wheel bike, 182, 183 miles per hour. Can I do it? No. I mean, that is just too fast. That very special KHS bike was actually designed to fit 17 inch wheels, yet wheels used for a drag racing scooter. They also had to lengthen it to increase stability for Denise because she would be riding some incredibly fast speeds. And they did that using two Cannondale forks and replacing the chain stays and the seat stays. And then they used a really clever double reduction gear system to get to a gear that is equivalent to 204 by 11. That is a crazy big gear. I'm just, that is, yeah, it's a crazy big gear. There you have it, the top five fastest bikes of all time. If you think we've missed out one, then why don't you chuck that in the comment section below. But if you did like this video, then give it a big thumbs up.